Never know how to start these things. So, I'm playing Don't Starve. Um, let me see here. So, Don't Starve. It's just basically this Tim Burton looking uh, survival game where you go around trying to get all the little things in the world to try to make your the strongest base you possibly can. And then you just keep going until you get the game to play itself. So, you know, classic stuff. Things, things I'd say I'm very much a fan of. You know, looking back on it, I'd say... That probably any kind of game where I can get the game to eventually play itself is probably the kind of game I'm going to be playing. It's just too much fun. The whole process, the efficiency of it all. Um, so, okay, let's just see what I'm doing. So right now, I just want to get everything I need. Everything I need to survive, like this axe, make a torch, organize that, put the torch over in the back. Okay, so I'm playing as Abigail. They tend to find that Abigail automates a lot of the processes in the game, like combat. Really trivializes it, so that way I don't need to be combating. I can let her do the fighting while I go and do something else. Probably something more fun, like, I don't know, logistics. So what is it I'm doing right now? I'm just picking up all the little, all the little stuffs I think I need. 
ignoring anything that I think isn't important, hopefully. And, you know, come back and make the most of it later. But for now, okay, let's see where the road takes us. Because the road is a good way to traverse. Okay, well, there it ends. The road is a good way to traverse through the map. Because when you walk across the road, you move a little bit faster than you would without it. Let me see here. Okay, got my sticks. I also came in with some new threads today. As you can see, I'm going in with the black and white look today. Black, white, and red. I got this, you know, inspired of the uh, the dark, dark world that Don't Starve takes place in. Okay, let's take the first wormhole and let's just see where this takes us. Okay, okay I always like to like take a look, see how far we've traveled. That's not that far, honestly. Probably not the best wormhole, completely honest. But hey, it, it leaves us in an area with more opportunity. More things we could take. All the brick road again. Regular road. Okay, we got a pig, dude. Here's opportunities presented itself. A pig man. Just let her do the combat. Let her get all the aggro. That way I can get pig's delicious skin. Oh no, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll bring her back later. That's no issue. Okay, so let's see here. We've got a pig village. Lots of pigs here. They usually have some kind of resource I can take. Like berries, those are nice, but usually they have like a little farm or something. Cutting the teaspoon satiated throughout the winter. There's Pig King himself. We're not going to be talking to him for a little while. Abby's still healing. That's the ghost girl. You know, she kind of she kind of reminds me of like a stand. You know, like from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. The whole stand power thing. But her stand is just like, um, it's just a fighting ghost of some kind. It's not the ability to stop time. Not as cool, but definitely useful. I mean, like, even, even if I just had a stand that just punched, that'd be nice to have. Because I could, like, use it for other things. Use open doors for me. I could use it to pick up items. I could use it to help me do push-ups. I could use it to help me do pull-ups. All kinds of cool things you could do with a punch ghost. Like, just standard stuff, you know? Mm. It's already halfway through day one. I really wish I made through some more progress. You know, this has got me thinking, like... You know, if... If I was stuck in this, uh, not starving world, um, how would I do? I mean, do I come with all my skills? Okay, say, say I just come, like, um, free skilled, no Spanish, uh, just the ability to mime, paranomasia, so they call it, right? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, this game has a mime. Oh, I should've played as a mime, yeah, I should've played as, um, what's his name? Wes. Should've played as Wes, he is a mime. Okay, you know what? After this death, I'm going to play as Wes. That's what I'm going to do. The first time you get all these uh, cool stuffs. Now, Wes is the challenge character. He's the guy that makes it a lot more difficult to play because of his lower stats and overall decreased survivability and susceptibility to starving. So what's the plan right now? Well, I found the pig village. That's good. Let's get some wood. And I'm going to just try to map out as much of this as I can to try to make the most out of this situation I'm in. Because right now, there's nothing really anything cool in this world so far. I haven't found any... Mm, I haven't found a good plan of attack, let's say, yeah? This this junk I don't need. I'm just drop the pine cones. I'll know what I'm looking for when I see it. Like, if I am if I find a lone tree, that's definitely something I'm going to need. Several lone trees, actually. Because I'm going to need to start building up a lot of charcoal for later. Let me see. Beefalo would be nice to find. Hopefully. Um, let's see. What am I looking for? Is Abby back? Yeah, she's back. Mm. Also looking for reeds. 
Also looking for... Mm, chess would be nice, I guess. Walking chess. Take that. Oh yeah, we're gonna need rocks. Make a pickaxe. Need the gold as fast as possible. I mean, you might as well just take all the berries you need. Because they're gonna grow back real soon anyway. If only I could, like, utilize them for something, because they're just gonna turn to mush. I have too many berries. Not enough use for berries. And we've reached the end of the continent. Hmm. This map is stumping me. It doesn't look like the kind of place I'd like to be, honestly. Get the light out. Oh, wait, is this a lone tree? No, it's too close. Too close to all this other junk. I want a lone tree. I want a tree that is by itself so I can uh, set it on fire. You want to be able to extract charcoal from it. I wonder if I can mine this in the dark. No, I cannot. We found our rocks. We just gotta wait till daytime to harvest them. Here we go. There you go. Mining away at night. You gotta make the most out of day and night. You never sleep. You don't. You definitely starve, but you never sleep. Mine, mine, mine that. But how much mining are we gonna be doing? Well, I'm gonna keep mining until I have like 20 gold. That should be good. And while I mine, these three should finish burning. Okay, so here's our hunger meter up at the top left. We're at 100. That's not the maximum. That's just um, the number out of our maximum. Which for Abigail, I think is like 150 or something. Or 130. Let's see here. 150. Each of these foods will replenish back some of the hunger we've lost up the day. I also keep track of these other stats, but not as important as hunger. Hunger, you always got to keep an eye out on it. Okay, this tree's done burning, so we will harvest our lovely charcoal. We're going to need a lot of this stuff. And you might not be able to get enough of it in time if you don't start getting it now. The only way I know to get them is to light these trees on fire. And these trees, you know, it's fun. Okay, okay, here we go. The next thing to do, qualifant hunting. See, there's like a little, a little suspicious dirt pile. We want, we want to be able to save that to get our delicious, delicious qualifant trunks for later. When we start thinking about the next thing, in this case, it's winter. That's the next big thing we got to worry about. Winter is not going to be coming for about uh, 20 days, I'd say. So we still have plenty of time to meander about collecting all the little things we like until eventually old man time catches up with us this should be fine i don't think that'll cause a big a big forest fire that should be perfectly fine get the axe and collect our charcoal all it's another one for the collection you know i saw the collection the movie by the way it was uh made by the same guys that made uh the saw series right Anyway, I was not a big fan of the collection, honestly speaking. It felt kind of like a letdown from the original Saw series. Uh, because, well, you know, the original Saw series, if anyone here watched it, essentially, you had Jigsaw, right? And his traps were basically, like, perfect. Well, well not perfect, but rather, they were almost inescapable. At least the ones made by Jigsaw himself, John Kramer Jigsaw, right? So, you know, his traps were, like, supposed to be, like, ironic or something. I don't know. Um, so essentially, right? Like the whole thing with his traps is that they were heavily thought out, like the Batman of traps, right? Um, so, you know, it was really impressive that, you know, honestly speaking, I myself, I don't think I could, uh, think my way out of a genuine jigsaw style trap, but in the collection, the traps kind of took kind of a step down, you know, they, they felt kind of, um, how do I say this? Kind of pissy. They weren't very good. Like, uh, I think there was this one track where I just put them inside a giant electric box or something. And I don't remember all the details about it, but it looked pretty easy to get out of, honestly. Right? So so, so in the collection, you got this guy. He has on this leather mask, and he's, like, trying to let's hunt the qualifant. He's trying to, like, um, hunt down these people because it's supposed to be ironic or something. I don't know. 
Uh, he catches them. Most of them escape. And then they end up putting him in the same traps he put other people in. Um, I guess looking at it from the lens of Saw isn't very um, productive. Kind of reductive to the point of the movie. But I still don't I still don't think the whole gimmick of traps in, in the collection was done very good. Felt like it could have been done a lot better. Where's this Qualifant head? He's headed in the east. Hello, Zeke. I see you joined. I'm still hunting the Qualifant right now. I don't want other trees around that. That, that tree murder. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh wait. Let me get this tree too. I'm going to come back for all these trees later. Eventually, I'll make it back to this same spot. And there's going to be enough charcoal to last me till the end of days. Okay, let's see. Eat our berries before they go bad. Qualifant's almost here, isn't it? Down to the left. Okay, free loot. Don't mind if I do. Okay, this this should be the last one. Then, then the qualif- No, it's not. Anyway, let me see. What other movies have I seen? Did I miss it? Hold on. Where's, where's that last little stump of qualifant? Just head this way. So, in case anyone was wondering, the way you can tell where a Koalaphant is headed is by the footprint it leaves behind. I don't want to miss it. It should be somewhere around here, though. There it is. I think I would have missed it. It's hidden behind this tree. Just follow the little nubs on the on their uh, footprint, and you can see what direction they're heading towards. So that's why I'm moving in these strange patterns. This, this has to be the last one, right? Here we go. Okay. Tall bird. I don't mind them too much. They're going to annoy me. Look at that. Get out of here, bro. Leave me alone. I'm hunting right now. Okay, I got to get this bird away from my ghost. I can focus more on the hunt. There we go. Okay. So, as soon as your character uh, senses the koala fan, there it is. So right now, I don't think I'm strong enough to beat the koala fan. I think I'll just leave him alone. Come back to him later. Run that tree. But what I am good at killing is spiders. So this this is the whole automation process of the game. Trying to get Abby to do all the spider killing for you while you do other stuff like collecting loot. And get her to leave the spider nest. No. But you don't want to destroy the spider nest because you want to save it for a little later. They run out of space. Let's just drop some of this garbage. I don't need that. I don't want that at all. Another tree. Another tree. Run that one. What an annoying little sound that bird makes. Let me see here. Hmm. You know what I'm always a fan of? A good revenge story, you know, like uh, John Wick or something. But personally speaking, I'd say probably my favorite revenge movie was uh, Old Boy. Old Boy was probably my favorite one out of all of them. Um, like, you know, John Wick and all that stuff is really good. Taken, all really good movies, but um, all really good revenge stories. But Old Boy probably does the revenge story the best out of all of them. Like that tree. I wonder if I can kill the, the, the guy now. Let's get this. Let's see, Abigail's still only at 300 health. I could probably do a little damage to him, you know. And then just come back, finish him off. But yeah, Old Boy is probably my favorite um, revenge story. Like, a revenge movie. Like, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty okay. They're not, they're not all good, but they're all pretty okay. Uh, but what makes Old Boy so good is probably how it doesn't um, it doesn't fall into a lot of the traps that a lot of uh, I guess revenge stories, revenge movies fall into. Because like, okay, so you take a, you take like you take like a revenge story, right? Anyone, you know. And one thing I see them do a lot in these revenge stories is, you know, they'll lose something, right? The main character will lose something, and then they'll want to take revenge. But then, in order to take that revenge, they're gonna have to. Um, 
like build themselves up like let me see if i can think of an example if i could just make something up off the top of my head right so say you got this guy and his business was like ruined right and that's like the premise of the revenge story right um the enemy like ruined his business so now he has to take revenge by any means necessary or something like that right so you know he's like okay to take revenge i gotta do this super elaborate plan or whatever right but in order to make him fall for the super elaborate plan i need to you know build myself up you know like you know i gotta like um get collect resources and get money and waste time and whatnot and that's all fine but what will happen is is they'll usually build themselves up or rather i've seen this a lot but they'll build themselves up past the point of where they were before they wanted to take revenge in the first place right so what do i mean by that so say um the guy has like a million dollar company gets destroyed wants to take revenge right well then he's like okay i'm gonna have to take revenge but i'm gonna need money and time and faith and resources and all that junk and by the time he starts taking revenge he now has like a billion dollar company right he has more than what he started with before the revenge. so like why take the revenge you're putting it all on the line to give up more than you had before right but yeah like I, man i've all seen like other um i'm trying to think of the other uh landmines a lot of revenge stories fall into you know like um hmm. oh yeah they'll sometimes they'll like forget like um i remember i watched uh, this movie wrath of man it was okay i guess um at its core i'd say it was a revenge story but what i didn't like about it was how the moral of the story was essentially just take revenge uh because spoilers if um anyone hasn't seen wrath of man but essentially the well one of the main characters he takes revenge and he just kind of gets away with it right he's just like oh well I, I did it i got my revenge and i'm like okay so the moral of the story is just take revenge yeah don't eat those and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel like that should be the moral of a revenge story. Just take revenge. Because usually uh, the moral to a revenge story is take revenge, but it'll like cost you, right? How does uh, that saying go? Like, uh, if you're going to take revenge, build two graves. Something like that. Because yeah, a good revenge story, in my opinion, has the main character um, essentially giving it all up on the line to take that revenge. I'd say that's the basis of a good revenge story. Um, and in Old Boy, they do that. They definitely do that. But there's there's a big twist at the end, right? There's like this huge twist. There's like a like a Shyamalan twist. It can like explode your brain how good the twist was. Um, I'd say without the ending, um, Old Boy would probably not be that good. It'd probably be like an average level revenge story. Most definitely. Like Old Boy just kind of gets it all right, if you ask me. I need to, um, let's see here. Collecting a bunch of torches. There's too many trees to burn here. I'm gonna call the forest fire. That's gonna be devastating. Get some more of this. Get some more of that. Right now, this is looking kind of easy if one does not play a lot of Don't Starve. But it really ramps up a little bit later in the game when you get to winter and you don't know what you're doing. Right? Dude, we almost got 20 gold. My goodness, they leave all this gold at the graveyards. That's another one. And, eh, yeah, I guess I can hold some more. No, let's drop it. I don't need it. Okay, so here's the big menu. Right now, all we made were axes and fires. But what we want is we want to make the science machine. Oh, celebratory science machine. Okay, it's built. I don't need to put it down yet. It'll just stay in my inventory until I need it. Hmm. I'm trying to find a good place to put a base. Somewhere like in the middle of everything. So, Because if you're too far out um, with your base, you're going to have to travel a lot to get to the resources the other biomes can provide to you. Get a stick. Get a grass. Get some juicy berries. I have a feeling this is just an island. Turkey. Turkey. Don't. Turkey's evaded me yet again. Mine, mine, mine. Thank you very much. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing on that island. I want to find something... Something with a lot of resources on it, like pre-built farm or something. 
some pigs with a farm, not just pigs. Now here are some pig heads. That's not useful to me. Hmm. Also looking for some gears, some gear monsters. Okay, here's the eye bone and there's Chester. The Chester is really great at the beginning because he can hold on to all the little things you don't want to hold on to. Like hold on to that, hold on to that. And everything else is I'll keep for me. Always wonder where the road will take me. You never know. Get the blow dart. And put it away because there's only one. And store it in Chester. The Chester's this neat little familiar. He'll follow you around, carry your garbage for you or whatever. And as long as you hold on to his eye bone, he'll be your friend. Later on, you might not need him, but for now, I like to keep him around to store as much things as possible. Don't need that. Just eat all my fruit. One more. At this point, yeah, some caramel. Okay, so this is getting me excited. You can see that we got these little carpet areas, and whenever there's carpet areas, there's a good chance you'll find yourself a chess monster of some kind. These chess monsters are extremely important. You need them to build your refrigerators. But I don't want to fight him because he's way too tough for me. I'll just let my ghost fight him. One, two, and then you leave. You hit him once, and then you leave. You get a bit of, and then leave. Okay, now Abigail should do more damage at night, so she should be a bit stronger. Clockwork Knight is dead. Another one defeated. He's Ears, I don't need them. Stuff them away. Hmm. Now, unlike the... Unlike the eye bird, Chester makes such a lovely sound when he's walking by. That's that springy noise you hear, wait. But he stopped. When I move... I hear him bouncing around. Yep, that's the noise. Got me wondering, who made this world? Eh, not much there. No. Not much there at all. Right for three days. Hey, that's, that's pretty good. The stick, some more basic resources. Really long grass, so we gotta get some more of that. And flint, I am maxed out. Don't need any more flint. Okay. That's one less thing to worry about. These bear bushes is everywhere. Turkey. Okay. The trick I found with the turkeys is just leave, leave them a little bait and they'll come to you. Oh, there it is. You kill them. Thank you. Okay, we finally have access to some meat. That's gonna be pretty good. Because with meat comes opportunity. So they say. Some more sticks. Seem to have collected myself a little entourage of familiars here. Mm. Yeah, I guess I guess that's another sort of tier of the whole game playing itself aspect, isn't it? Because I find myself particularly what? There's a mole. I find myself partic okay, to get the moles, you just put some rocks down. And it will come get them. Then you kill them. Anyway. I found myself particularly used to um, the type of characters that use familiar-based attacks. Or, not really familiar-based attacks, what I mean. I mean like a necromancer, or like, um... Or like a beast tamer. You know, if you're thinking classic RPG stuff, it'd be something kind of like that. A character that just fights with, like, familiars or buildings, like engineer, TF2 stuff. 
mining way. Okay, get that. Too much flint. I don't need all this flint. Hmm. I mean, she's really hustling. I'll give her that. Okay, wormhole. So some chaos in the mix. Let's see where this takes us. Eh. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good distance. Hmm. I'm afraid there's another dead end. I've reached the end of the continent. What's on this? Spiders, maybe? There needs to be something of use on this continent. Otherwise, you just come here for the trees. Not what I'm looking for. Mm. I mean, that was a lovely walk, but I kind of need some resources. Let me see. I could connect up to here, maybe. This is how much of the map I've discovered. Maybe some stuff over here. Definitely this northern part hasn't been explored much at all. Stick. And another one. And some free stale meat. Would be good for the pig king. I wonder what left it here, though. Yep, pig house. Definitely some sort of pig anomaly of some kind. Eat, eat, eat. Munch, munch, munch. Thank you. If anything looks weird, it'll make more sense later in the game. Like winter. Or autumn. Home time, pig. Man, I wish I had my hammer. Be hammer in time. Because these little lone pig's houses are great targets for the hammer, because you can bring them down and take all the resources you need from them. Big houses are great for resources. You get lots of wood, or you get planks. You get lots of stone, cut stone. And I think you get pig hide, I think. I don't know. Okay, let's make another pickaxe. Hmm. I mean, I got plenty of rocks and gold. Chester still has plenty of space, so I'm sure he don't mind. See the stale meat? I mean, don't eat raw meat, first of all. Is bad for, that's a lot of spiders. Is bad for your mentality. I mean, who wants to watch that? But what you can do with the meat is you can give it to the pig king. He will reward you with money. And I guess I don't need the game 60 yet. You can have them. Gold, I will give it to Chesty. And these spiders, I will consume. Let's see here. Um. Not a lot of spiders here. Jesus. Axe out. Get the axe out. I guess I could also give them the morsel. No really point in me having meat unless I can cook it. And I got plenty of berries, so I'll survive with just that. Give him this. Get some more gold. Thank you. I don't know. From the map, it looks it doesn't look like there's a whole lot up there. Not that I would make the base here anyway, but... I don't know. This world is not really looking too funky. Good. I think I backtrack, head up the road... Du, 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 go up there and head north from the from the pedestal. The pedestal is, is where you spawn. You can tell it is because it has this little swirly icon. So let's head back. Get that. Remember one common mistake I used to make when I would play would be to click everything with my mouse. You don't have to do that. Uh, it's much faster and probably less mentally straining to just hit spacebar when you want something like that. You don't have to click on it. Uh, it doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference, but trust me, it sure does. After like a hundred clicks, 
you're gonna get annoyed by it when you can just hold down the space bar. Like otherwise you'd be like click 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 no. Think hold. My, 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 my. I wonder what this sinkhole leads to. Usually not so bad. Usually get a lot of this cool stuff. Light flowers. Can't really use them right now. Because I lack the technology to utilize their light source. So we're just going to head back up. But nice to know that it's down there. In case we do need it. Hmm. I remember when I first started playing. Um, I avoided going into the case for the longest time. It wasn't until like after winter. Like day 40. I actually started using the caves. As soon as I went into the caves, I saw a spider queen that attacked me immediately. I'm like, okay, I'm not going back down there. It's filled with spider queens. It's the only thing that's down there. Oh, uh, let's see the map. Nah, not there. Gonna have to head down some more. Can I change the camera? This looks kind of weird. There you go. Gonna have to head east some more, and then head north. And let's see what's up here. Okay, there we go. Berries, thank you. And put this away. Can't be letting the candle burn during the day. Then there's no point. It's a waste of electricity. No, it's a waste of candle. Waste of torch. I think I've discovered more world up here. He's on a long road. At least I increase the world size map on this one, huh? Food. Turkey, okay. Let's put down the berries and then kill them. That's fine. You can just um, stuff it in Chester. And. Take, no, not enough space. You take some of this. I mean, I seem to have plenty of resources. I'm, I'm almost full. I got a whole backpack, got a full Chester. Where are you taking me, Road? Oh, evil tree. Watch out. Only there were 20 of me. Then we could take on the evil tree. Okay, this looks like another pig village. With tons of food. Okay, I think I know where I'm going to be basing. That's a lot of food. Okay, Bay should definitely be around here, near this pig village. I could come and harvest their food every now and again. Their well-deserved food break. Because I gotta make sure I'm not starving. I mean, th I mean, they're not gonna starve. They're gonna be fine with me taking their food. I'm not gonna be fine with... I'm just gonna have to travel so far just to get it. I'm thinking... Let me just explore around. Let's just uncover a bit what's what's hiding beneath the darkness right now my sanity's doing pretty bad but you know what that's not so bad because playing because having having low sanity opens up new opportunities you don't actually lose the game for having low sanity you get access to the nightmare creatures which are mindable in their own sense no not there Mm. If there was a wormhole around here, that'd be a no-brainer. I could put the I could put the base near the wormhole at the other end of the wormhole so I can make my way back to the pig village and easily have access to all that food they got. Draining. The character have anything to say about the rain? Nah, not really. Is that the same evil tree or is that a different one? What's up here? Okay, let's just mine this. 
Access to uh, the underground cavern. That's always nice to have. Hmm. Winter hat. That's pretty good, actually. Right, right at the beginning. These are usually these usually have to craft them from beefalo and spider glands. Some some lone pigs. Couple pigs here. They could be pretty useful. I'm probably gonna use them tomorrow, day six. To get as much to clear out this whole land. Pigs are very good at that. They're very good at clearing out land. Hmm. What's this? Swamp biome? Here's the food. Here's some trees. Here's a pothole. Here's a swamp. If I had to put the base, I'd say it probably would be somewhere down below the swamp. I don't want to be in the swamp for the most part. Away from the pigs, because pigs go evil at night. Bunch of little rules. Bunch of little minutiae you got to keep in mind. Hello, Mango. See you in chat. But yeah, a bunch of little minutiae you got to keep in track of. Of the game like twiggy trees when pigs go evil when they're good uh full moon mechanics a bunch of weird little things that the game likes to keep you on your toes with wolves thankfully wolves haven't attacked me yet but as long as i as long as i get a clear picture of where the base is heading i shouldn't have too much trouble i shouldn't have to relocate the base anytime soon where is that I'm playing as a spider guy. Good old Weber. I like Weber as well. Honestly, I should have played as the mime guy. That honestly would probably fit better with my character. But, you know, uh, I usually play Abigail. So that's why I guess this time I'm playing Abigail. Although probably next death I might just play as Wes. Just for the mime aspect of it. Mime controlling a mime. Very mimeception. I hate the noise that these these little bat creatures make. Really annoying. And we got attack. Hmm. Might just. Hmm. Here's pigs. I could probably put the base somewhere here, but this kind of puts me like off away from it. The rest of the world I feel kind of isolated. Maybe here, but I have to take a long path all the way up to the pigs. Hmm. Oh, there was a wormhole to get me there faster. Yeah, I guess somewhere here is fine. If I had to make the base, a light source, get some rocks. Just build it now. It'll come into play later. Have I been underground before? I have been underground before. Um. I mentioned this before, but actually, um, I had this funny story where um, I was really afraid to go underground for the longest time when I first started playing. I was like, let me just, like, master the above ground first before I go underground. So I stayed above ground for, like, 40 days. That's, like, two seasons, I think. And then I went underground for the first time. I'm like, I, I pretty much mastered the, the upper ground. Let's see what's underground. I went underground, and there was, like, immediately a uh, spider queen that attacked me as soon as I went underground. And so I clicked the staircase to go back up as fast as possible and I'm like I'm not going back down there it's just sp 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 filled with spider queens like that's definitely what's down there and I just never went back down for another 40 days eventually I did go back down and I found out it's filled with a lot of cool stuff you got these light bulbs that are like way more efficient than anything than any other light source in the game I found Took my berries gotta eat them Well, don't got enough food. Uh, I'll put the hat down. I don't need to carry the hat. Let's put everything down. I don't need to carry on me. Uh, seeds, you know, put that down. Uh, silk, don't... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me make space, actually. Put all this back up. Um, get my axe. Clear out these trees. Let's see, do I have enough meat? I only have two turkey legs. The turkey leg. Um, the turkey leg is uh the turkey leg okay put that down okay now that i got the science machine i get important stuff like the like the backpack that's definitely one of the most important things you want to make with this science machine out there um 
Is it armor? Go to everything. Go to backpack. This thing. Make yourself one of those. Now, carry even more things. What I like to carry in the backpack is all of my little tools. Axe, the torch. If I ever need a tool, I'm gonna put it in my backpack. Resources I'll keep in my inventory. The backpack's almost strictly. Uh, yeah, let's make the rope and make the weapon. This is important. Um, I can also customize my loadout here. These are my quicks things I like to make quickly. Like, okay, let's take out that and put in the hammer. And hammer goes in the backpack. And just don't need the hoe or the pitchfork. Uh, let's make a razor. That's definitely going to be important. Is that all the tools I need? It should be fine. Put the razor there. Okay. Let me just clear out house. Just dump all this stuff I don't need. Don't need the silk. No one's going to eat it. Uh, gears people will eat. Weapons are not edible. So take out the weapons. I think charcoal gets eaten too. By eating, I mean like someone, like uh, a little, like uh, a little mole creature is going to come and eat all the, all, all the rocks I leave on the ground. But it won't touch this stuff, so I'll feel free leaving it on the ground. It's not going to despawn or nothing. Hmm. More koala fan trucks. Uh, let me take off the hat. I don't need the hat, actually. The hat in Chester. Probably no. I can't leave gold on the ground. That also gets eaten as well. Hmm. Okay. I said I would use the pigs tomorrow, but the problem with that is there's not enough meat. I need at least three pieces of meat. Monster meat can also be included as well. Where can I get some meat? Well, let's just look where the spiders are. Here's some meat. Here's, uh, no, not really there. They show you where the spiders are. It's, here's a spider right there. I'm pretty sure it's next to that other pig king. This one here. There's some spiders over here. Yeah, some spiders over there. So we're going to go kill the spiders, get their meat, use the meat on the pigs, use the pigs to chop down the trees, and never have to chop down another tree for the next 28 days. That's the plan. But I got all this flint. I'll need all this flint. Put it away. Actually, put 40 flint away. Keep the five for myself. All this food. How am I going to start starving? I'm surprised I haven't seen any of the beefalo. The beefalo are these big, woolly um, creatures. They're very nice for the most part. For most of the year, they're pretty nice. Uh, for the rest of the year, they're very, very mean and ornery. I'm surprised I haven't seen them, because I kind of need them. Hmm. I just need one more familiar. I need, like, a pet familiar. I'm going to probably get that as soon as I settle base. Okay, let's let's hit up Rile Up mode. Okay, so this is, this is Abigail's flower here. It really helps out with controlling her anger issues. Because I could turn her combat on and off. Right, I could turn her aggro on and off with this. Let's just get her to deal with the spiders so I can get enough monster meat for tomorrow. Okay, don't attack that. I need her to leave the, their houses alone. Their houses are very, very important to me. Not because, you know, I believe in spider real estate or anything like that. But rather, um, their houses in very nergalous fashion upgrade over time. They don't downgrade. You know, while I'm here, let's kill that guy. Get free meat. I'm making my way. Okay, here's a free weapon, the pan flute. Very, very powerful item. Indeed. Okay, while I'm here, let's give him the good meat. The monster meat I could just give to pigs. And get me some more gold. And let's give him the regular meat too. Oh, it's home time. Gotta go home. I think that wolf's gonna come blow my house down. Meat. Free meat. Just take it. 
yours for the taking. Yeah, some more. Okay. So, I've been picking up seeds here and there. Um, you, you, you don't really have to go out of your way to get seeds for the most part. Seeds pretty much spawn all the time, no matter what. But, you know, if you have space for them, why not? They're going to come into play a little later with farm mechanics and things like that. But outside of that, seeds aren't big, aren't that big of a priority, honestly. They're not my top priority. Killing spiders right now is my top priority. Get this. And I'm about to. Okay, hounds are coming tonight. But yeah, again, not so bad. With Abigail, hounds are really no issue right now. Let me heal. That's what the spider glands for. Where the qualifant is. Forgot I was hunting it. I kind of just left it alone for a bit. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll come into play when I like see him again. I'm sure he's not gone forever. Nothing really despawns unless it dies. Then it despawns. Game is auto pause. Thank you. Thank you. So what's the right tool for hounds? Pointy stick spear. Okay, made it to the. Lord Postern. Make my way up to the base. Deposit my minerals. Gold. These are gonna go bad. What if I could cook them actually? Put her onto how she be coming soon. So let's just put her in defense mode. She will defend me. And let's dig up our little tree stump. I like to leave a couple trees next to the base for for uh, for rain protection, protection from the elements. Keep chopping. And a chalk and a hack and a and a sack and a chop, chopping that meat. Wood is still pretty good. Good as the game pause. Imagine you open a present and then like hounds start attacking you. Oh god. Uh I don't have enough wood. Definitely no, not enough wood. I wanna just get all this junk out of my base. More meat. More blood for the blood god. Okay. I don't wanna just get this stuff out of the way. And then. Uh, let's put another one somewhere like here. Let's see here. Um, I don't want to make. Let's put some more fire in there. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna go go to the pigs. The pigs are up here, ish. Here's a little pig wheel. So go up here, and have them clear out most of that forest, pretty much. There we go. Goes on to do. We go. Goes on to rest mode. Guess it's a good time to dump some of my junk. Don't need that. Don't need that. Chester, what you got? I don't need the winter hat. No one's going to eat it. I'm going to put it down. That's really how you defend your stuff. Ask yourself if anyone's going to eat it. And if the answer is most likely no, it's probably a defendable item. And he's chopping, he's hacking, he's whacking. Get as many resources as possible. Now we're going to start building forward. Building up and around. Um, I can need a couple axes. I should have made my over there. Okay. Well, the day's still young. I'm sure I'll make it in time. Because the pigs only work during the day. In the afternoon, they're going they're, they're going to sleep. I'm afraid of big bad wolf's coming. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get there. I should have traveled through the night. Okay. Today, I just go over there, steal some of their food. And then the day after that, we're hiring them to clear out this forest. Too many trees. Too many trees everywhere. No. You see, because by the time I get there, like half the day is gone. And they're not going to be spending the whole day chopping. I got five meats. I want to use the whole thing. How 
was that? This is all about. So here, so here are our pig friends, but as you can see, we've wasted about 25% of the day just getting here. So, who has meat? I has meat. You can have berries though. If you don't give them meat, you give them berries. It will instead leave you with some manure. And with all these berries, I honestly won't miss it. You can only do it once though per pig, so. Make the most out of your pig. Manure is going to be used for a little later. Not for right now. Okay, these are normal ass berries. Different from the juicy berries. Don't you... Just let him take the bait. I hear another turkey. I hear another turkey. You hear that? He's turkeying it up somewhere over there. Oh, damn. Ignore the bait. I hear two turkeys. I need to get rid of these turkeys. They're going to eat all the food. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, let's get rid of that other turkey before he starts making trouble. I hear him. I hear him gobbling away. Can't let him eat all my food. It's rightfully stolen food. That's the thing. Mine, mine. I mean, it, it'll all grow back, right? They don't care. It'll grow back. Take that and take that. Spend today taking all their stuff, which they're not going to miss. And then tomorrow, we're going to work on those trees. Okay, how much meat? I have five meat in total. No, seven meat in total if you include the drumsticks. That's seven pigs. For half a day. It's a lot of pig houses. God damn. Oh, there he is. Two goddamn turkeys. Three goddamn turkeys. They eat all the food. Man. Got a bit of a hat trick. Four turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I need some of them to take the bait so I can kill them. Oh, one of them took the bait. Two of them took the bait. Good enough for me. Put another berry on the, on the ground. Ah, he's gone. He disappeared. Well, I collected plenty of berries, so that shouldn't be too much. Too much lost. Just take a look here. While I wait for them to come out of their hidey holes, I'll just be taking some of the grass. They didn't get this one. Got a lot of berries here. So I don't want to dig up the berries using my handy dandy shovel. Because if I dig up the berries, I will need to fertilize them every couple of harvests. And that's that's no good. If you leave them on the ground, they should just keep growing by themselves. There's like too many berries. There's like a ton of damn berries. Jeez. They're all going to go bad like immediately, but while they're here, I could use them. Get more manure. What the hell happened? Oh, Jesus. These are fire hounds. Okay, just go deal with them real quick. Just like attack them. I'll just be here. Just grab their cool stuff. Okay, they died. Nice. Abigail, fence mode. Ooh, a red gem. Grab that. Grab the ashes, why not? Just use these for later. I'm pretty sure Abigail uses ashes for something uh, character specific. There's a character specific uh, um, ash uh, consumable thingy. A thingy. 
Berry, berry, berry. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Now, good time to get charcoal, I wonder. Probably yes. Picking that tree. It'll probably set the grass on fire. I don't want that. Suspect. It's almost day eight. Almost time for the pigs to leave the little house. Let me see what's going on over here. Get the grass. Get the grass. much as I would hate to, it kind of feels like I just kind of have to wait for one. There's got to be something to do. Something, you know, something to keep the grind going. Steal all the grass, I guess. While I'm here, might as well. I mean, I'm going to use it eventually. Build another torch, just in case. Teeth. Go in Chester. Chester really... Oh, man. He's got no more space. Hmm. There's another problem. Once I get all of the trees cut down that I need for tomorrow, what is going... Who's going to pick them up? I don't have enough space. I mean, it's not like they're going anywhere, so I could probably just... um. How do you say? I could probably just leave them there. Pick them up later, right? I mean, they're not going anywhere. Probably gonna lose a lot of the meat getting all these pigs on my side. It's almost time. Put the torch away. Abby is my light. Okay, we'll give him the meat, we'll give him the drumsticks and the monster meat. I can probably just keep. Just to save, just to have a little bit more space for working. Okay, so what you do is you go around, give the pigs any kind of meat you got, and they will join you. This is mine as well. That's mine. Okay, over here. You can get as many as you think you need. This should be plenty. There you go. That's like six of them. That's a lot. Then you take them over to some uh, forest and start chopping, and you know they they'll get the idea. They'll catch your gist. You're like, oh, you want us to chop trees? Well, I mean, of course. You should have just said so. Look at them go. And you just, you know, do this process for the rest of today, and you're going to get a lot of wood. I uh, Sure, they're not the most efficient guys. I mean, they kind of attack trees that are a bit too small. Won't really get much wood out of it. But their intentions are good. That's really all that matters, isn't it? As long as they got the right intentions, I'm sure the consequences will follow. Or at least that's the idea, right? Chopping. Chopping and hacking and whacking. Chopping that meat. Look at them go. Close many What are they eating over there? I actually wouldn't mind if they summon a giant Lorax tree monster to come and attack me. If you chop enough wood, you have a chance of summoning the giant Lorax tree monster that comes and attacks you for chopping down too many trees. Um, that's not so bad, actually, because if you, uh, manage to kill the Lorax Tree Monster, you get some, uh, very hard-to-come-across evil wood. Is that what it's called? Evil wood? Dead wood? Y you get some special kind of wood that you can't get otherwise. He's hacking, he's chopping, he's whacking, chopping that meat. They keep picking up little things off the ground and eating them. They gotta stop eating stuff off the ground. I mean, I, uh, you know, I feed them by hand, I give them, like... The food uh, from my hand, right? Like the monster meat they need. But stop, stop picking up pine cones and eating them. You can't eat pine cones. I mean, at least I think you can't eat pine cones. I don't know. I've actually tried eating pine cones. But, like, they, they they shouldn't eat pine cones. It's not good for them. I mean, monster meat is also probably not good for them. It makes them a little crazy. But 
you know, uh, I'm sure I'm sure they have the right physiology to handle monster meat digestion. Oh, it's like if like it spawned a tree monster right at the end of the day when I don't have my pigs to help me. Because with all these guys here, if a tree monster comes, um, the the pigs will freaking destroy them. They'll tear them apart. I got like six of them here. Now one for each of the sex pistols. Mishta! Mishta! We fight the trees, Mishta! Oh, we can't. I'm bored, sex pistols. I'm, I'm gonna kill you. Mishta's just ripped. Okay, there it is. Tree guard. Uh, let's summon. Let's bring Abby back. I don't want her dying in this fight. I'm just let. Just kind of let the pigs handle it for the most part. Yeah, these. Yeah, this uh, tree guard. Be tough. As long as I get enough. Oh God. Abby's taking a lot of damage. I can help, help, help him out. Use a spear. Two thousand health, huh? Just kind of bait him. Attack, attack, and then leave. And go back in. Attack, attack, and then leave. And just keep going back and forth. Yeah, he's at half. He's not going to last much longer. I wonder if it's like one of these smaller tree guards. Oh no! Focus. He looks kind of just like all the other trees. It makes it really hard to fight him. Going. Going. Yoink. I'm out. You gotta fight him like a Dark Souls boss. Leave me alone! Eat this! Oh, my pig friends. They're all gone. All turned into delicious single leg drumsticks. Still got you, though. Oh, no. My sanity has gone too poorly. Abigail should be able to help. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. Okay. I think, yeah. I was able to tank it there near the end. Fortunately, all of my pig friends have perished in the fight. My piggy friends have perished. But they did not die in vain, because they left me a lot of their uh, food parts left. Okay, um, I'll leave the e I'll leave the living logs here. That's what they're called. Living I'll leave the living logs here. Come back for them later. The meat, though, I can use. Uh, there were six of them. Uh, there should be six meats around here. Let's see how this wood. Got three meats and one pig skin. That leaves two pigs unaccounted for. Unless the 80... Oh, God, there's another tree spirit over there. Um, no. You, Abigail, you leave him alone for now. You do not have the resources to fight another tree guard. Not right now. Not with this such low sanity. I have to come back, reconvene. A more opportune time when we have better resources. And I'm drenched. It's been raining forever. I honestly thought he wouldn't show up. They usually don't show up very, very early, the tree guards. But to be fair, I did chop down a lot of trees. Just eat my berries. It take a lot of damage, but the tree guard is dead, leaving only the minor tree guard in its wake. Okay, now that I'm back at the base, hopefully... Where's the base? It's right here. Now I'm back at the base. Hopefully I can make some refrigeration. Uh, so you go to food, the refrigerator, and... need I need the alchemy engine. Okay, that's fine. Just make it. Just make the alchemy engine, right? Now this is what these little trees are for. You can use the trees to keep you dry. Make them bored. Need to make some space too. Okay, hold on, wait. Where's the light? Put some wood in there. Get the light going. Okay, um, drop the tooth. Don't need that. Mm, 
Drop the pine cones. Don't need that. Need to make space. That's what I need. I can't drop meat on the ground. It'll go bad. Or someone will come and eat it while I'm not here. I have to do that. What was that? Mm. It's daytime again. It's still raining. Jesus. There's the gold I need. Uh, Barry's about to go bad anyway. That don't last a bit longer though. Let's drop the razor. Oh, this is just sort of item management. That's not so bad. That's totally playable. Drop the. Drop that there. Another one of these. Do I have enough? Can I make my thingy now? Oh, I need some more. Okay, now prototype that. Okay. Now that we have the alchemy engine, we make some better things than we made before, like refrigeration. Very, very important. Just make some room and place it right next to this one. This is possible. Okay, like right there. Okay, now that we've got the alchemy engine, make a refrigerator. Bring Chesty over. Just like walk over a little bit. Yeah, like walk there so I can access your storage. Uh, make some more of this. And then you make the fridge. Nice. Okay. I got the fridge. I don't know where I want to put it. Somewhere where like where the food is going to be. Like here maybe. And just stuff the food one in there. Put that in there. That in there. Yeah, I don't need that one. Put that away. These are about to go bad, so let's cook them up. Cook them up. It'll last a little tiny bit longer. Cook. As you can see, their durability has changed from red to a green. Keep cooking them. Is it really still raining? Jesus. Not even rain season right now. Cooking, keep cooking. Let's see, what else do I need? Probably a crock pot. I do want a crock pot. Let's see, do I have enough resources for a crock pot? That's the real question. Uh, gems will get eaten. I put them down. Charcoal, I don't. I think it does get eaten also. Get the crock pot. One, two, Three, pull the crock pot. And let's put it like here, I guess. Yeah, I'll put it there. Uh, pig skin also gets eaten as well. Uh, should the charcoal get eaten? Maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. Making some more food, keeping busy. Got to keep busy every day. The process starts all over again. Hmm. I make a chest to hold all the things I don't need. I if I have all the wood I need in the world. I almost gonna need one of these. Make those. Make a chest for storage. Up. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, celebratory cake chest. Is that all the wood I got? Guess I must have not picked that much. Well, I could just, you know, do a quick chop chop. Get the last I need for that chest. Shovel time. Make it a board, please. Can I make it a board? Crap. Chef. Oh, Jesus. I'm freezing. Jesus. It's still raining. Okay. Uh, what gets eaten? Pig skin. That gets eaten. Uh, rocks get eaten, definitely. It's been raining all goddamn day. Let's take all this stuff. Chest you don't need. Okay. Put the gears in the chest, because those get eaten. Chest removed. Thank you. 
The gear's in the chest. Uh, I don't think Firestack gets eaten. But the rock's in the chest. Flint. Let's put the 40 flint in the chest. Keep two on ourselves at all times. Uh, gold gets eaten. Put that away. Gems. Oh, yeah. Definitely get eaten. More gold. It's here. Uh, that just disappears. And let's put the charcoal in there. And we're look pretty clean right now. This is a pretty clean looking, pretty clean looking setup. Hmm. What razor blade? Yeah, God, how's it still raining? Kind of glitch and make it rain all day. I need to go get that wood I left behind. I'll go pick it up. We'll go back, pick up the wood we didn't get. I don't have sticks yet. Go back, get the wood I didn't get. Probably chop down some more trees, get some more pigs. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Turkey leg. And it disappeared. What the hell? We gotta do something about this. Can't even leave because they're gonna like freeze to death. Pine cone. Pine cone. I need it to like stop raining real soon. Let's get some more wood from here. Left on these trees. They really said it was gonna rain all day today, didn't they? Okay, it stopped raining. Thank goodness. Let's go back to adventure now. Come on. I'm put the fire staff away. Don't need that. Okay. Am I done being freezing? Done being frozen? Yeah, okay, let's go. Make a move. Still have that little tree monster roaming around here, I bet. He doesn't see me. Dark. I wonder if I'm gonna find some eight pages in here. Oh, there he is. There's Slenderman. His uh, iconic eyes. He's known for. As long as I hear that bouncing noise, and I know everything's gonna be okay. It's just Chesty. Chesty doing his thing. Up oh, there he is. He's hiding. Okay, let's dig up everything we need. Clean sweeper, what the hell is this? What's this for? Oops, hold on. Don't need those. Don't need you. Okay, here's all here's the rest of my pig entourage. That's this is what happened to him. Like she's still in fighting spirits. I could probably take that on that guy. Only 4,000 health. But I'd rather get the rest of the resources I'm going to need. 63. I'm, I'm still alive. I'll live. I'm going to need all this wood for later. If I have enough. I'm thinking like 80. To like 120 should be enough wood. Right now I got 20. got about 40. Just spend the day picking up all the wood they left behind. I'm sure when I do with all these pine cones, though. And with such low sanity, I could have sworn that they would have, like, you know, summoned a shadow monster or something, sent me to the shadow realm. But no, not yet. Very strange. Just keep digging. 
I'm gonna spend today digging. Tomorrow I'll probably getting some more um, pig monsters to help out. Clear out some more wood. Or maybe just to help fight the evil tree monster. I will need that as well. Need to hunt him down. Yeah, so you got space? Can you hold some hold some wood for me, bro? I got you. What's this? Piling it on, honestly. Just keep piling it on. Not so good on the sanity. Very good on the wood. Wood wood stocks are definitely up, I'd say. Okay, not bad, not bad. Mmm. Can't leave anything behind. Either these guys went to town on this forest. I not even need any more pigs after this. Hopefully, hopefully not. Chester, open up for me, bro. Thank you. Keep digging. Jess, you can hold on to another another log stack for me, bro. There you go. That's two, four, six. Uh, make another. Oh wait, hold on. Be flint. Oh fuck, I'm all out of flint. Okay, just hold on to what I can. We'll dig up the rest tomorrow when I. Can come back with some more shovels. I wonder if Abby could like fight the tree monster for just just like a little bit, you know, just just to kind of like bring him down a bit, so I can go and finish him off tomorrow. Very nice, very nice. One, two, three. Three. Can't. I'm almost done with this stack there. That's the maximum. I should pop his little head out any time soon. He's around here somewhere. He's just hiding amongst the trees. That's his thing. See? Another evil tree. Evil tree jump scare. There it goes. Okay, so another pig skin. Good harvest. Good harvest. Lots of wood. Tree jump scare. Every time it makes that noise. Oh, my sanity is deplorable. Like 44. Yeesh. And the long road back. Back to base. Okay, so just go. I'll just go in front of the campfires. Get a little, there you go. And what I'll do is I'll just um, up some wood here. I'll just drop all the wood I don't need. Uh, it's Shift L one. Just drop it all here. Yeah. Get the ones from inside Chester. And. Drop it here. Yeah, just drop it anywhere. Drop that, drop that, and drop that, and too many pine cones. Drop the pine cones. No, I pick up the pine cones actually. Hold on. I don't want to accidentally pick up pine cones. You need to be able to hold more meat. Drop that. Okay, we'll leave the pine cones here. These other pine cones, leave them here. Don't need so many goddamn pine cones. 
Okay. Just drop the meat. One, two, three, four, five. That's a hundred. 120, 140. Yeah, that's plenty of wood. There's also more to be collected, but 140 is pretty good. Even 200 would be better. I'll put the meat in the fridge. Store that for later. Harvest the crock pot. Damn. Razor gone bad. That's no big evil. Okay, put in the chest. Put the pigskin in the chest, because that will get eaten. Put the light out. Put the, drop the sweeper. Okay, we've got armor. Put that in the backpack. Got monster meat for tomorrow. Um, what am I missing? Flint. Yeah, there's not enough flint. Right out of flint. Like the flint. Keep that for later. Oh, so, might as well walk through the night. Or walk and make progress. Walking and making progress. Mm. Is my stomach full enough? Yeah, it looks fine. It looks absolutely playable. Next day, get up for day 11. Okay, what's good? I'm, I'm gonna need you to help me out. And I'm gonna need you to help me out. And where's your third buddy? You can eat my spiders, did he? Here we go. Now, oh, come on, guys. I don't need you dying right now to spiders. Heal. Heal. Oh, there, there he is. We got ourselves some nice spider glands. Help us out. Is it you? Having three pigs would be better than having one. Now where's the giant Lorax tree monster? I'm gonna take him out. Yeah, I gotta rile him up, start chopping down some trees. I don't know, I mean business. There he is. Wait, no. False alarm. That was just a normal tree. Where is he? I know he's hiding around here somewhere. I have to show his face. I don't want to finish him off. I don't want him, like, sprouting his head up. Evil tree jump scare out of nowhere. Get all the good stuff. Still got pigs on me. Here, go, go chop something. Start chopping like you never chopped before, yeah. And then keep chopping a bit more. That's what I need. Need chopping all day, bros. Up oh, there he is. Abby back. Want her dying in this fight. Oh, fuck. And I have a crawling horror. Meat. Just beat the crawling horror. Finish him. Just crawling horror out of here. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, God damn. Many, many businesses that oh, got to deal with at once. Get out of here. Focus, focus, focus. He die. Okay, I should clear him up for a little bit. In terms of the tree guard, he's still pretty high on health, honestly. 
Sophie can't be here to help me. She's not here yet. Hmm. Maybe I'll leave him alone for today. Come back. Kill him a little later. Don't really have any pig friends help me out on this one. I axe that 2%. Sandy's not doing too good. Let's see. Tree guard, he's about... What is it, like one-sixth of his health gone? Yeah. Come back tomorrow. And I got a crawling horror on me too, so... I don't want to fight the two of them. And a turn beak. It's annoying. Terror beak, crawling horror, giant tree monster. Got a little too greedy there. I have to leave and come back when these guys are less of an issue. Both of them actually leave. Well, get out of here, man. Two terror beaks? It's called it no good. It'd be really hard to fight both of them. Mm. Take me back to the base. I'm gonna increase my sanity real quick, you know, just quick burst of sanity like flowers. Picking enough flowers can increase my sanity. Let's just dodge these guys, get some flower power. Just enough to get these guys off my tail. See that? Goes up by a little bit each time. You guys only spawn from having low sanity, so. Bring my sanity back up. Won't have to deal with them. Oh yeah, my ghost girl can't help me. Is sanity high enough? You got six flowers. Let's try to make it to twelve flowers. Oh, he's still. Can't tell if he's still here or not. Wow! 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 Let's put the spoils of war away. I don't need them on my body right now. Okay, full moon. Nice. Okay. Full moon has a very special thing that happens. Let's see if I can get it in time. Gotta make it to this area before full moon ends. And then I'll be able to get me a nice sanity buffing guy. What's his name? The little flying squeaky guy. He's still following me, but he can't attack me. My sanity's too high. Takes a look at sanity bars. I got 43. Uh, you, you, you'll pass this time, but I'll get you next time. Okay, I'm making it in time. Mm, day's halfway done. The night's halfway done. Just need to grab the flower before he leaves. He leaves at midnight. Oh, he leaves, like, after the full moon. This is probably one of the better things you want to get. At, at a full moon. I'm almost there. Almost there, I can see it. Gotta get him before he dies. And also, I can't let him get attacked by random shit. Run. Get out of here. The glomer, I got the glomer, but all the pigs. All the fucking. What the hell are these things? The were. The were pigs are on my tail. I gotta save Mr. Glomer. That's, that's my third familiar. Collecting them like Pokemons. I can keep the glomer alive because he leaves if uh, you don't hold on to his glomer flower. I can keep the glomer alive. I could keep him around for helpful stuff. I'll stay at the base. Reduce insanity for me. He should still be alive because his glomer flower is still working. Yeah, that's bright. Jesus Christ, that's bright. You want? Know you want something? Look, he's following me. Dark petals don't need him. Okay, so... 
Let's leave the Glomer here. Chilling. And standing next to him will increase your sanity. So just leave him here. He'll do his thing. Not that I wouldn't want to fight these creatures, but now is not the most opportune moment to fight them, let's say. Got the Nightmare Fuel. Don't need that. I don't know where the hell I got this thing from. Don't need that either. Put the pigskin away so it doesn't get eaten. See what's inside Chesty Boy. Drop that. I would like some more Nightmare Fuel. I'm going to need it. Chester's holding nothing. Okay, let's go. Ooh, that stomach is starving. It's definitely the thing you don't want to do. The game is called Don't Starve. Because that's what you, you're you looking to not starve, see? Cook that up. Rot uh, is useless. Cook. Let him cook. Have any wood? Holes. Let's put the berries in there. Put a turkey leg in there. Turkey leg. Put another berry in there. Cook that up. Almost lost it there. Almost lost my cool there. Drop. Turkey leg. Back in business. Oof, keeping it nice and warm. Okay, let's see. We got two clean sweepers, whatever that is. Got tons of wood, sticks, a little bit of nightmare fuel, a collection of pine cones of varying sizes, apparently. This should keep me satiated for my adventure back out to the west. Oh yeah, I forgot that nightmare um, tree monster still out there. Summon Abigail. Yeah, let's see here. Where is he? Oh yeah, let's um, let's get the hammer. Where's the hammer? The hammer, right? Need some rocks. Is that heavy breathing? Is that Chester? Chester breathing like that? Oh, here he is. Tree guard himself. Dead flowers, I'll need them. Well, Abigail's not gonna last too long. Gotta bring her out of here. Gotta get her out of the fight. Okay, brought Tree Guard to Mr. about half health. And he's pretty low, so I should be getting a Shadow Monster soon. If your sanity's low enough, that's when the Shadow Monsters start knocking. But in the meantime, let's just show him what I think all these stupid trees. 35 sanity? Yeah. Pretty low. Pretty low. Just waiting for a shadow monster to show up. Finish him off. Not you, though. He's chilling around here, but he's not, like, doing anything. I'll leave these nightmare petals here. I'm pretty sure you use them for something. Either you turn nightmare petals into... You turn these evil flowers into nightmare fuel or something. So let's just leave them be. Yep, there he is. He has health. That means he's fightable. Oh, God. He's really low. Nah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Can't die of this terror beak. Equip some log suit. So, higher chance of survival. 
the log suit. Now we fight the terror beak. Focus, focus in. Only 100 health. A couple more hits and he's down. Should be it for him. One, dead. Now I can go back and get the things I need. Uh, pick up the log suit? Yes. Eat the meatballs. Meatball sub. I don't pick up any more evil flowers. I should be able to harvest the rest of these woods. Man, look at them just towering over the trees. He's trying to intimidate me is what it is. Some for Chester. Some for the boys back home. Oh shit. Okay. Oof, that was a close one. See, if you're left in the dark for too long, see that close. if you're left in the dark for too long, you start to get attacked. You start taking some damage. Given my health, I'm probably not going to last too long. I'm going to make an emergency light just in case. Honestly, these pine cones, I don't really need them. Too many pine cones. Evil wood. I'll take that for later. And I can hold on to a stack of wood in my hand. That way I don't have to... I can carry a little bit more than what I'm supposed to. Dun, dun, dun. Hounds tonight. Get Abigail out here. She's not fully healed, but she should be able to handle some hounds. Can I handle some hounds, though? Nothing but a hound dog. I'm gonna just let the flame burn out, honestly. I don't need it unburned. God, that's a lot of wood left. Destroy the rest of my shovel, pick up this wood. Pick up these ones. Another one. Got the pine cones. Oh, how dare you. I can't do that. Pine cones are the future. And one more for 20. Perfect. Yeah, that should be, that should probably be enough wood for the winter. Because in the winter, the trees don't really grow. So, you know, gotta make sure you have plenty for winter. He's still chilling on here. Maybe I gotta get him to fight the wolves for me. Jeez, what a horrible noise they make. Oh, here they come. They're coming. Lord, he coming. Head back to base, put all of our loot away, and there's the wolves. Three wolves. Rob them all. Get them. Get him. Get him. Eh. Get him. I don't think I made much of a difference, honestly, in that fight. Two. Hmm. What's the plan for the next thing? I'm guessing I'll probably get a, a bird. Catch a bird. 
Put it in a cage. Make eggs. Stop this way. I don't need it. Um, I think if I replace this with another turkey leg, I got something special. No. Let's take the turkey leg out. I'll probably put monster meat as filler. Plenty of monster meat. Monster meat, we're definitely not in short stock of. Uh, pine cones, pine cones, pine cones. Buying pine cones. Still have pine cones? And just drop them. Okay, um, ballast wing. I'll probably just let it go bad. I'm not really sure what to use it for. I think you use it to make a weapon or something. Open up the fridge and make more food. Oh, it's sad day time. Drop that, drop that, drop that. Drop that, and uh, drop that one too. Mine living logs. There you go. Okay, um. Hmm. Meatball for next day's adventure. Where am I headed to? Um. I'm gonna need to get those reeds. Make a bird trap. Gonna need some silk. Some stacks, got plenty of that. Um, I really just need the reeds from the from the swamp. How much? Like eight or sixteen or something? Uh let's get enough. Get enough for what we need. Oh god, leave me alone. Get out of here. I don't know why they come, they're just gonna lose. They did not come here to win. It's eight. Let's get a couple more. I mean, she's definitely defending. Oh, watch out. Well, leave that alone. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage fighting tentacle monsters. Ooh, a wormhole, finally. Can make some distance. 15, let me just get one more. I don't want to be without them. But this is where the rest of the world was, huh? I was wondering. Where are you hiding it from me, bro? Sood. Nice and calm. We're strangers in this foreign land. Birch nut trees, pig without a house. Ah, uh, kill him. Okay, now, back to calm. And just leave like nothing happened. You cannot like a, like a, some kind of smooth criminal. Right here. Is this just, this dude is just forest? I mean, it's fine if it is. It's just, I just kind of want to know if you got more over there in the back. How many flowers we got? Eight? Need four more. Hmm. Looks like the end of the continent from here. Light, light, need a light. Another pig. Oh, look, a mushroom. Hmm? Very interesting specimen, that mushroom. By the looks of it, it looks like it has warts on, on the head of it. I wouldn't say that that's like um, any kind of super veil left because it's so ununiform. It's like remnants of the, uh, of the veil on a mushroom are usually a lot more uniform. So I'd say those are probably warts. Only come out at night. Has this weird blue coloration. Wonder what happens if you cut it. This looks like it just rounds out the end of the continent. But just to be safe, let's just go over 
to uh, port side. Just take a little peeky peek at that. Nothing. But that's fine. That's fine. I wasn't expecting anything, anything too, too egregious over there. You know, it's not like I'll find the one piece. That's another one. Two more flowers, and we're there. Two more, and we're there. Whoosh. Keep the light on. And these nights are certainly getting longer. Take me two whole torches just to get through it. Or one torch. And one torch and some change. Oh, here we go. A level three. Okay. With this level three, we have this cool ass chest over here. Let Abby can handle that. Can handle that. Open up the chest. Let's just get a little cool shit. Let's do that. Let's do that. Destroy, destroy the base. Terrarium, huh? We need that right now. I don't see myself using the terrarium right now. Not strong enough. I get some health back. Attack. It really built their like pig their um, spider houses to last, don't they? Uh, Abby, no, you leave that one alone, actually. You leave the house alone. It's not level three. Because if she destroys the level three house, I, I won't be able to get the uh, spider eggs from it. Spider eggs are really, really what I'm after right now. The spider eggs allow me to put a spider base anywhere I want. That is very helpful. Okay, we got some flower briars. They're just wolves, honestly. Just evil wolves. Flower powers, some kind. More silk. Pick up the meat, not for you. Get that, get heal. And where's my weapon? I need a weapon. I have a 2% axe. Let's use it. God damn it. Need a spear. Where's my spear? Thank you. Put the spear. Finish off the spiders. Okay, so pretty successful day. So I definitely got a lot of things that I set out to get that day. Got my what is this? Got my reeds, got my silk. What else do I need to make a... Uh, I think I need gold. I got I got that back at base, right? Yeah, definitely. I hit it in the chest. Oh, good night. I'll see you. Equal man 20,000. Um, what is it? Where is it? It should be in structure, I think. I took a pop in. Um, bird. Let's make the bird trap. I'm gonna make the bird cage. Uh, papyrus. Not the under tall kind. Get some seeds. There you go. Mm. Pull this food away. It's gonna go bad. Turkey leg. That's gonna go bad. Drop that. Drop that. Uh, berries. They're gonna go bad. Jeez, this fridge is really not making too much of a difference. Um, meatballs. Uh, healing salve doesn't get eaten, so I'm just dropping on the floor. There's, there's chicken McNuggets. And I'm gonna need another seed. Part of the plan, a bird cage. Um, let me get this tree out of here. I have a shovel. Rot, useless for now. 
We build another shovel. And dig up the tree part. Okay. So, I'm going to put the bird cage somewhere next to the fridge. Like here, maybe. Uh, put some bait on the, on the thing. And just let it cook for a bit. Drop the extra reeds. Yeah, I only need 8, not 16. The stone gets eaten. Put that away. This gold gets eaten. Put that away. And extra logs. Hmm. A lot of junk on the floor. Oh, three bird. Put him in the cage. Put him in the cage with the others. Okay. What I could do with the bird is I could give it this useless monster meat and turn it into delicious eggs. Give it like a bunch. Not all of it though. Take all the eggs. And start making the most delicious meal. Bacon and eggs. There you go. Now that is a very satisfying meal. Okay, what's the plan? Got the got the that thingy, got the that thingy. Um, got a bunch of wood. Hmm. Probably start hunting that koala fan I let loose. I forgot where I left him though. Where was the koala fan? Over by this pig village, maybe? I don't know. I'm sure I'll find him. Uh, I got my arm. Uh, you know what I need? I need um a ham bat. Got some ham. Uh, gotta cook those berries. Get the ham. Get one of these things over... Up oh, here you go. Pig skin. Make a weapon. Uh, take that off. This section I will dedicate to weapons. Uh, put that there. And ham bat put it there. I just go over to your handy dandy alchemy engine. Get yourself a ham bat. Nice. Ham bat. Really, really good weapon. Because most things in this game have a durability, right? But the ham bat has a very special durability. The way ham bat works is it doesn't actually like lose durability from use, but rather it loses durability from. I put that away. It loses durability over time, like a food. So you could hit people, you could hit enemies as much as you want with it, and it won't go bad until it goes bad over time. But until then, you're going to have a pretty fun time with it. I'm also going to find me some beef all around here. If I had to guess... Well, what the hell is this? There's land here. Where is it? Is it here? Does it go up and around there? Look, it goes starboard a bit. Then it goes southbound. And there's more. more. Beef or not be here. Maybe here. I got to shave them. That's the thing. And I gotta find a koala fan. Got my hand bat. Let me make myself a helmet to decrease damage. I think because health's pretty low. Get one of these. Make a rope and make myself handy dandy. Oh. With this helmet combination, I should be able to tank a lot more damage than I normally would. Oh yeah, let's bring food. I'm gonna need a recipe. I'm going to be going pretty far from base for a while. Get a meatball. Full food. Um, bacon and eggs. That's good. Put one of these in there. Cook it up. Some berries. Oh, there you go. And here we go. We're off to find the beefalo or the koala fan or really any kind of large mammoth like creature to harvest their warmth. If I had to guess, probably maybe over here, this whole area here that's blocked out. Hmm. Follow the road. Follow the road. The road is direction. The road is um, focus. And that's the end. 
All right, you can't always choose where the road leads, but you can choose when you stop following it, you know? I'm like Chester. Chester doesn't really have a path. He kind of just follows wherever I go. That's fine. He lets me dictate his path. Oh, wait. Did I not make a hammer? Where's my hammer? I need some sticks. I'm all out of grass, too. I'm gonna need like 40 of them grass. Eh, da, da. Sticks. Yeah, let's get some more sticks. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good. Let's eat the meat bowls. Yep, that'll fill you up. Get some grass. Let's see, Flint. Well, I'm pretty okay. Flint, see, Flint's not that much of an investment to pick it up, though. You sort of, like, do it, you know, like on your way to things. There's, like, grass and sticks. This is, this is a much larger of an investment to go through it. Yoink, yoink. Mine, mine. Okay, I'm at 40. No more Flint. No more Flint for now. Maybe later I'll get some more. Now that just looks like desert. Beeflo don't spawn in desert. Yeah, that's just desert. Hmm. I'm definitely not there. Probably should have headed south then. That kind of looked like beeflo land, but I, you know, the cactus should have should have warned me. Okay. Um, I can take this red one here, and that'll take me here. What I want to do is I want to head there. So. Maybe take the blue one. I'll just have to take the long path, make my way back to base, get some more food, provisions, and make my way down south again. I could get the qualifant. Like, you know, while I'm here. Yeah, let's get the qualifant. I forgot where I left them last time, but we'll just get another one. Let's get another one. Mm, where's he hiding? Yeah, he was hiding back here, you see? You couldn't see him before, so he was hidden. Did I miss it? Let me head back. I don't want to miss my chance to get this qualifant. He's very important to get the qualifant. This trunk is very, very special. Wait, ah, oh, damn. Wait, I confused myself. Or was it? The spin of the camera threw me off. Darn. Did I lose it? It was somewhere around here, though. Ah, oh, whatever. Sure, another one will cross my path yet again. My chesty. Getting tired, sticking his tongue out. Be hard time breathing. food going looking good looking good i mean i could eat the bacon and eggs but it'll last me another day just save that one for later okay gonna head south check out this area in fact i don't think i even need to rebase i could probably just do it from here grass I get the last of those flowers i need get one get two and there we go Where's the flower crown? So once you get 12, you can build yourself a nice little flower crown right here. Equip that to get back a little sanity. It's still going down, but now not as much. It's that charcoal from before. Yep. 
good old charcoal farm producing me two charcoal. I'm gonna come back and harvest some more. Okay, I'm almost nearing it. I could taste it. Almost there. What a weird looking continent. Okay. Um, lone tree. And another one. Okay, beef low should be here. This is like the only air, this is like the only grassland I haven't been to yet. The beef low have to spawn here. Where? Follow the road. The road will take me where I need to go. Hasn't failed me thrice yet, I'd say. And we've reached the end of grassland. Hmm. There have to be beef on this map. I checked like the whole thing. Where are they? They're probably just hiding somewhere. I need to get their wool. That's why I'm so obsessed in getting them. If I don't get their wool, I won't be able to make my winter clothes. There's my light. Oh, here they are. Okay. Let's just set up a delicious single beef low. Whip. Just shave them. Thank you. So yeah, that's that's what you do with the beef low. You walk up to them, give them a little shave, and they're none the wiser. Is that it? I'm gonna need a bit more than that. Gonna need a bit more. Okay, here we go. There's another one. You know, you pick up some manure. That's fine. Just extra. Hmm. Spider? Nope. I don't want the spider. I can't shave spiders. They never sleep. How much did I get? Nine? Not enough beef low wool. Need a bit more to get the winter clothes I need. I can shave them tomorrow, but they only sleep at night. Which means I only have a limited time frame where I can get their precious wool. You want to get it before winter, because during winter, that's when they get ornery. That's when they won't let you approach them. They're too angry. Ah, man, there was one left. God damn, there were a bunch left. I missed all of them. I'll come back for you guys on day 7, 16 at night. Make another one of these things. Wow, whole new swampland on this end. Whole new whatever the hell this is on that end. Whole new world out there. Where's that we go? There she is. Wait, so it just leads to a second grass line? Why even have the little patch in between then? That'll throw me off. Are you sleeping, bro? That's my hand pad. I need to replace the hand pad. I need to get more hand parts. Explore the rest of this continent. See what it has to offer. I'm sure there's plenty that has yet to be taken. Another one. Who would have thought there'd be all this grass? On the grasslands. And this looks like the end of the continent, probably. Well, at 
actually got plenty of grass to replace all the ones I use. Let's see, got 20. I'm definitely going to need like 80 of them. Like 80 grass. This will bring you up to about 30. There you go. 16. Let's see here. Do I got a torch? I got some charcoal from these from these fellows here. Very not bad. There you go. Um, hmm, I could burn that. I'll burn the berry bush. Uh, let's just dig it up. Let's take it with us on our journey. This away, and another tree. Get that one. Well, those guys, those fellers are probably going to burn for a long while. We have enough time to get some more grass in the meantime. Mm, look at that one. Almost maxed out. One more. Two more, and the beefalo should be going sleepy time. Another, another quarter. Okay, let's see if our charcoal farms have finished burning. Eat the seeds. Sticky twigs, twiggy sticks. Like these are coming along nicely. It's one charcoal. It's another one. Nice. Ten. That should be enough for... 11. Okay, that should be enough for, let me see, each each crock pot, because that's mainly what I use them for. Each crock pot's about 8. So with 11, that leaves me about 3 extra. I need 5 more on top of that to make a second crock pot. You really want a lot of crock pots. I want to get as, I'd say like 3, 3 crock pots. That totals 24 charcoal. We're gonna have to dig these up, take them back to base. That's a little, little uh, grass farm. Survived 16 days, huh? Really doesn't feel like that, does it? I'm picking up seeds, I don't need them. You sleep yet? I didn't lose them, did I? Hold on. Let me make sure I get them. Let me just make sure they haven't escaped me and gone to a different biome. They're somewhere around here. The beef flow, I mean, right? Maybe over here, I think? There they are. Beautiful creatures. Let them wander around. Doing what beefalo would normally do. Raising. As soon as night comes. Just set up camp. Yeah, I don't mind if I just set up camp right here, right? The very second night falls. The shaver comes. You're the last one left. 
There you go. 33 beefalo shades. That's pretty good. Okay, got my spider eye. Got the juicy berry bush. Got all the beefalo I needed. Let me start heading back. Okay. You, you stay away. There. Okay, so. I'm gonna save it here. Auto pause, yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna save it here. Come back to this some other time. We're almost close to winter. Just like the hand, I could feel the darkness closing in. Eh, man. Oh, that's a nice crick in the neck. Okay. I'll see you. Bye-bye.